Hey, 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 are you as cool as a cucumber in your business? Cool as a cucumber, that expression came about in the early 1500s, actually, when scientists discovered thermometers and they were testing and measuring the temperatures of things. They found that the inside of a cucumber is generally 20 degrees cooler than the outside of a cucumber. And that's where the expression cool as a cucumber comes from. Well, when I think of cool as a cucumber, in my business life and in my professional life, I tend to be more professional and cool as a cucumber, meaning not nervous, um, not very emotional. Um, I don't overreact in, in business, at least not anymore, like I used to when I was younger. And I handle situations with a confidence and a knowing that I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna solve it, we're gonna figure it out. There isn't any problem that there isn't a solution for. There really isn't any problem on this planet that there isn't a solution for. Um, we might not be implementing the solution, we might not be handling the situation properly, but there's always a solution. There's always a way to get anything that we ever want accomplished, anything imaginable accomplished, done. We absolutely positively can. And if you know that, it's really easy to remain calm and unemotional and sort of positively indifferent, not necessarily detached, but positively indifferent, meaning how a situation the outcome of a situation, a, an, a unique, specific situation, isn't the end of or the be all of anything. It's not going to impact me negatively. Think of when we're going out and we're trying to bring new people into our, our business, if we're trying to get new clients or something. We have to approach that with the confidence that we know that we can help them, we can solve a problem for them, and we can make their lives better in some way. Now, we can do that for a lot of people, right? But we have to have the approach that and the perspective that knowing with 100% confidence that we can help them, but it doesn't mean we are tied to the outcome of whether that specific person works with us or not, whether we get that specific client or not. That's positive indifference. Knowing that we can help you, but if you choose to work with us, if it's a good fit, we'll work together. If, if you choose not to, awesome. Find somebody else that can serve you and help you better. And if we approach our business and our life and our customers with that attitude and that belief and that knowing, we, we number one, feel better. Number two, we get a better caliper, better quality client, people that we love to work with versus people that we just are kind of foisting ourselves on that, that will cause us more stress and more doubt and more fear and more worry and more challenges than we need or want to have. Um, having and being cool as a cucumber also plays out in dealing with the everyday changes and challenges that are inevitable in our businesses, right? Every single day, that's why we like being business owners and entrepreneurs is because we like solving problems and facing challenges and obstacles and figuring things out. And if we approach those with, a, again, a calm, rational, open-minded, positive indifference, we're going to get much better solutions. We're going to come up with better solutions faster than if we're nervous and upset and freaking out. I think of emergency situations that come up. Um, in my food business, things like the freezer breaking down or somebody not showing up for work. Uh, the last few years of running that business, this whole thing of no calls, no shows, people just not showing up um, became kind of a thing. And I had never experienced that before in my businesses until I hired a different caliber of people. I went outside my normal hiring belief and pattern and process. And we got a few people. And I, I remember the first time somebody just, they didn't call and they didn't show up for work. And it was like, really? Well, and I was worried because I thought maybe they died or something. So knowing what to do in that situation, having a little bit of a backup plan or an idea. Again, in, in the food business, freezers and coolers are very, very important, right? They're, 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 they're the thing that keeps our food safe. And so we always had a backup plan. But inevitably, about once every year, there'd be a time when you would check the freezer or the cooler temperature and it would be below what it was supposed to be. And then you would go into, okay, I need to solve this problem and fix this mode. And you would do that calmly and collectively and have a, a plan and a way of reacting that didn't cause everybody to freak out because it was never the end of the world, right? Called the refrigerator repair man, comes in, he fixes it. No reason to freak out. Um, and the better we are at handling emergencies, handling challenges, the more positive the impact on our organization, um, especially when dealing with other human beings and people. I remember um, <clears throat> early on in my corporate career, 
one of the gentlemen that was working on one of our production lines cut off his finger and the finger was lost. He didn't know where the finger was. And so we had to shut down the production line and we had to look for his finger. Now I got elected to take him to the hospital because I was the most calm of the bunch. So I took him and his to the hospital. They did find his finger. We got his finger, put it on ice and took that and they were able to sew his finger back on. So it was a happy ending to a bad story. But most of the people in the organization were freaking out about having to shut down this production line and then search for this finger. And it didn't do any good. It just took them longer to find it and figure things out than had they approached it in a calm manner. And so there's always a lesson there for us to be learned. Um, we get to choose how we react to everything. Now, I am definitely not one that hides my emotions. If I'm upset about something, everybody knows it, but I get over it fast. But it's reserved more for my personal life, that type of reaction, than it is my, my businesses or my professional life. I try to set a good example by being calm and sh showing people, here's the way we handle this situation. Because nothing is ever insurmountable. No problem is, is not solvable. There's always a solution. We just have to be calm and open-minded enough to look for that solution. So today, if you're faced with a change or a challenge, I invite you to be cool as a cucumber. I might go eat a cucumber salad for, for lunch today. I, I actually love cucumbers, so this is a fun expression. Have fun with it. Think about today, how can you be cool as a cucumber to grow and supersize your business and to create the environment and the business and the life that you want? That's it. Have a fantastic day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.